and welcome back to my Metro Prime playthrough. I'm one half of Steam Phil. In the last episode, we got the Plasma Beam uh, and a few other nice little expansions. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be heading towards what's underneath, well, what's on the lowest floor of this area. Uh, do you know what? I can't be bothered with these. Go away. Uh, yeah, 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 it just hurt me. I don't care. So we're going to go even deeper underground again. It's even lower than before, below the impact crater, which is that big rock. So, there's a few more things to get obviously in the phase on mines, but we are nearly done on there here as well. I mean, to be honest, we've nearly got everything. Now, for some reason, they put a random space part here, I'm not entirely sure why. Now, this is the only time I say if you've got enough health, just do it, because at the end of the day, no point coming back here. Like, just go for it. Get the get this, get out as fast as possible. As you can see, my health is going down quickly. There we go. And oh look, you know the little Hunter Metroid thing I was saying about along with the glider. Here's the uh, here's it is. Hunter Metroid, adolescent Metroid. Energy siphon tentacle increases its threat level as Metroids develop. They become more efficient predators. An energy draining tentacle allows them to attack at a distance. Quick to anger, a Hunter Metroid will charge troublesome prey and attempt to ram them into submission. Cold base, attacks are, cold base attacks are still quite effective against these creatures. Hello, Ice Beam. Good. Destroy it. You want to you want to get these out of the way as fast as possible, really. Add it. Uh, see, my guess is the reason why it was in in uh, the American version is because of this area, because there is a glider and a hunter Metroid. Few of them. Oh, hello. You're going to come for me, aren't you? Ow. Bastard. Uh. So. Now I think. I think. I might be wrong. It might not be this area. It's not this area. Okay. Good. So I've just dumped down here for no reason. I'll have to go all the way back. To get it. Joy! Let's get back up there. Come on! Yeah, you see, relatively simple. Mushrooms. Like any dark, cavernous place. Always have mushrooms. So here's the glider in action now. Seeing that, seeing that we've uh, got the grapple boom now. It will hang in place and we can just ooh, almost fall off mushrooms. Um, but we didn't. So it's fine. And again, more access to other places. I hate this the sort of power bomb place when you, they don't give you a power bomb straight away. Now, you can hear an item. Don't get it. Not now. Can't get it. Guys, as you can see, there's a load of phase on. I'm not even going to bother. I could probably do it with the health I'm on. I'm not going to chance it. And more Metroids. Now, I don't like this room for one main reason you'll see in a minute. It's just... No, I missed that. Let's just keep firing until you can get... Really? Die. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to get closer. Get... There we go. Yes, hello, I'm here. There we go. Yeah, one more to go. Come on. So we've got quite a few. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, the reason I come down here is this. If you just blow this bit up, missile expansion. Happy days. Right. So then we've done that. Now we can now just almost get out of here. I'm gonna. Go to that room with the red door in a second, because they can give you, uh, well, one of the red doors, because it will give you all your ammo back, thank God. That's what I really don't like. This glider is a goddamn nightmare. As well as you can't see a goddamn thing. I mean, I'm sh sh sure the x-ray visor might help, I don't know. Wrong beam. Good start. So in here... 
It's a nice little res respite. I know where the other energy tank is now, now that I remembered it. It's in Backtrack, backtrack Central. We won't walk past it, didn't we? Ha! <laughs> um, before I forget about it. Right. This is by... F uh, I mean, maybe? Where's that mushroom? Oh, God. No, where is... Where's the door? Is it there? Okay. Okay, so the extra visor... Yeah, you want to use the extra visor on that bit. I've, the amount of times I've fallen down the hole again. Now, for some reason, these ones are invisible. These bombers don't quite know why. Uh, don't quite know why, but there we go. Not sure why this room's here. I suppose it's just a loading room. To this next one, which is quite big. I did scan these, didn't I? Did I? Yeah, I did. That's probably why they give you the uh, health. Come on. There we go. You're dead. Now, if I'm rightly there, is there anything yet? Okay. Yeah, you're dead. And so are you. And up. Oh, okay. Miss, uh, the um, missile replen doesn't replen your uh, power bombs. Okay. Didn't realise that, but there you go. Never mind. So we're near. So as you can see, there's quite a few things here. Mainly space pirates. Come on, die. Die already. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, just, you know, just die, will you, already? Alright, come on. One to go. One to go, come on. There we go, it's all done. Sweet. Another missile expansion here, I believe. So, we'll just get one of these. Super missile, the hell out of it. I think we're all used to it now. So, we have 215 missiles. Uh, this one you could miss, I mean, it's unlikely, but there you go. As we continue to observe the development of Project Helix's elite pirates, it becomes increasingly obvious that these warriors will usher in a new era of space pirate dominance. They are incredibly resistant to damage, and their ability to transport and wield so many weapons at once makes them the ideal mainstays of our ground forces. Though they are not as quick as typical pirates, it makes little difference. With a platoon of elite pirates in the vanguard of an army of normal and flying pirates, will have a near indestructible backbone that should turn the tide in any engagement. So our plan is to basically stop them. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's not... Let's see if there's any... No, no power... Mm, right. Got one power bomb, that's fine. You see why you... Well, it's only one. Only need one. Oh, the saving bit. Just did it to get health here. Because you'll see in a minute that I'm, we're not going to need it, because at the end of the day, I know how to beat this thing hands down now, but um, you're going to see that. That's fine. Don't need to worry about them. You're going to see that it's just handy to just have extra ammo, just in case. Now, I know what's here. And I somehow didn't hurt him. Now you hurt him. There we go. Yes, I'm freeze that. And we come to this ominous room. And more eerie music. Now I'll put a scanner on. Uh oh. Omega Pirate, most powerful of the elite pirate forces. Omega Pirate can some become invisible to normal sight. Good. It is vulnerable when cloaked as all energy is drawn from the defence systems. By exposing itself to phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of the elite pirate program, this enemy should be handled with extreme caution and maximum firepower. 
And welcome to the Omega Pirate. Now, normally you have to shoot off its parts of it, but if you power bomb it, you can pretty much kill them, do it, damage all of them. Oh, oh, that's way too close. Oh my god! Come on. There we go. Now, what you want to do is stand by one of the areas. You'll see why. Uh, I'm waiting for him to appear somewhere. Come on, show yourself, you little git. Didn't mean to do that, then the power missile. Super missile. See, he doesn't like that. As you can see, I'm trying to just not get hit here, but I am. I don't have any more power bombs, so I'm a little bit concerned here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, he's back to normal. So what you men normally do is obviously this. Now I don't have any more power bombs, so I'm gonna have to deal it with the, the normal. Oh, for God's sake! Ah, uh, come on! I can't believe I didn't hit him. I have to take I have to take out these guys, they're winding me up. Where is he? Oh come on, really? Oh, I don't believe this. Take him out. Right. That's dealt with them. They're winding me up, right, come on. That was stupid. One to go. Right, back to X-ray vision. As you said, sometimes this guy can cause you problems. Frankly, as long as you keep out of his way and run like hell from these space pirates, don't worry about them. At the end of the day, they're not. They're your main concern at the moment. Main concern is on hard mode. I worry about them, frankly, on this bit. Hit once. Need done. As you see, he's got a sliver of health left. Where is he? Where are you going to appear? Nope. Nope. Come on. Get off me. Dealt with. Job done. Thank God, I thought I wasn't going to do that. Run. No, okay, just stand there. And we're absolutely fine. Somehow we made ourselves look cool as hell. Hell yes. The phase on suit. Here we go. Your suit has been infused with pure phase and this corruption prevents damage from phase on radiation. So now we can walk in radio in phase on without a care in the world. Happy days. And we look goddamn cool. So uh all all the better really. Now in the American version, for some reason when you beat the the boss, Samus does a different animation, she doesn't just stand there. I don't know why they took that out, personally, but, you know, who am I to judge, really? So now that we've done that, we're going to have to ever face anything like that again. we got ourselves in the second to last energy tank. And we disengage that. And we are... Well, we've done all the bosses now, haven't we? We have. So we are nearly there now. Except we've got new. If they don't kill themselves. I'm trying to get up. Come on. 
Right. I don't... Stop hitting me. See, I'll come back. Sorry. I, should, I, I forgot to actually read that out, didn't I? Visual Metroid. Oh, joy. I love these goddamn things. Metroid with the ability to split into two forms. Great. The Visual Metroid is a mutant capable of splitting in two. This split endows the new creatures with invulnerability to most weaponry. This effect is unstable, resulting in weakness to a type of weapon fire. The vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic nature of phase on mutation. Hello. Come on. Just die. Thank you. Now, they are annoying. Best way to deal with them, power bomb. I just realised I have none. So, that's good. Uh, oh, I have one now. So, that's alright. But, uh, yeah, they, they're basically... You want to avoid them as much as you goddamn can. Frankly. They're not ideal to face, really. So yeah, best best to avoid them as much as you as much as possible. Now I'm uh, hope to go through. Where is where's he gone? Hello. There he goes. He's down. Uh, right. Now, if I remember rightly, we want to go up there. Or do we? Done everything down here, bar one thing again. So what else? There's, uh, well, where? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna travel upwards towards the top. God, this looks so good. Muffle looks so so good in this form. Yeah, I've got to say this is this is probably one of the better looking ar armor variants of Samus has ever been. I'm just gonna run away. You know, there's no point trying to fight me. You know that I've won anyway. Come on. No, come on, open. Thank you. And we'll keep on going up. Going on up now. No, no, come on. Yeah, we're gonna get one last upgrade, and then we'll call that an episode. Because then we we've got the fun that is next in the next episode. I am going to enjoy it. No one saw the sarcasm at all. Just gonna ignore him. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get one last upgrade. Right, where do I go? Just so I know where I need to. Yeah, I'm going to straight across there, can't I? Because I don't need to go there yet. I need to go there. Okay. Oh, it's upstairs. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. There we go. Dealt with you. Come on. Cool, I got hold of it. That'll do. Yeah, I knew you could do that. <laughs> well, that makes it easier next time if anyone wants to play that. Just jump up there rather than trying to power bomb the goddamn thing. Makes life easier. Oh no, you can't because you need to power bomb to get the to get the grapple boot. Shut my mouth. Yeah, let me down there. Thank you. So we're gonna get one last upgrade, which means running a lot here. Right. There we go. Come with them. Right. So we're coming back to this room. Which you will see in a second. Why? But we have to deal with these. Come on. Couple more to go. Well, I'll say a couple more. I'm fed up with these things. I hate. Them. I can't wait to get not be near these again, ever. Pain in the ass. Just always. Wave py pirates are the worst. Oh, come on. Ah, right, there we go. 
switch to ice beam because I believe up here are ice ones, yeah. Much easier. Much easier. You're not gonna... There we go, thank you. Don't know why he didn't freeze the first time. Now, in here, Bendesium. So, again, blow up with power bomb, parcel security access. So, uh, this is the last upgrade for our beam. It's round, round, and round. There we go. We. Go. No, I didn't mean to press that, I meant to press that. We got the most useless missile upgrade, the flamethrower. Now as much as I like fire, this is useless. Yeah, flamethrower. Don't use this over the power beam, there's no point, it is a waste of time. It's got a low, it's quite low range and it's just shocking. Don't ever use it. Words of wisdom from me. Right, so now we've done that. We have literally put, apart from a few expansions now, oh god's sake, I thought I'd left them. Uh, uh, seeing that we've now pretty much done everything, we've now got the fun that's a, about to happen. So, in this episode, we've obviously done that. We've beaten the boss, so I didn't realise we were going to be that quick in doing it. There we go. So, in the next episode, we are going to be getting the the thing that's been mentioned throughout the whole uh, playthrough so far. The artifacts. Oh, joy. So, until then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my ship and we'll go from there. So, until then, I'll see you next time for... Oh, God, I hate this bit so much. God's sake.